there are certain prerequisites for the thomas test if there is any knee contracture it should be done a modified in the ear it is not a good there is a fallacy with here because there is a contracture it does not tell you proper contracture at knee joint so you do again on the other side so oh, yeah. you do the modified thomas test yeah, okay. and here is again this one this is the modified thomas test same patient you are finding here is the 30 degree contracture of the plaque flexion adjustment but when you have neutralized this knee or you have the uh, kept on the side of the uh, table it means there is knee contracture which was you have neutralized that you are not doing that so only pure contracture here is less than 5 degree instead of 30 degree so you must do the thomas modified test as well here is the another test which is more specific for the cerebral palsy that is called stylis flexion hip test it is the on the prone position as the you do in the supine but here you do in the prone contra it will let you know the which is the part about the uh, true contracture of the hip joint it is more specific than the modified thomas test like this this is the mod modified thomas test and this is the stylis test it is more specific tell you the contracture 